the latest Star Trek Short Trek episode is just over one week away, but what does it have in store for us? Thankfully, CBS released a brand new teaser, of which gives us a hint of what might happen. Let's roll the trailer for those of you who have not seen it. is an emergency alert. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. Today we're talking about the upcoming Short Trek episode, Children of Mars. Now this Short Trek will air on January 9th via CBS All Access. It sort of serves as a prequel adventure and tie-in to the upcoming Star Trek Picard series, which is also airing later this month on January 23rd. Before we dive in, a quick note for our international viewers. Sadly, there's still no news on when you can view the short treks if you're located outside of the USA. Hopefully there will be some more news once Star Trek Picard kicks off, we're kinda hoping that Amazon Prime might pick them up, but there is no news as of yet. We'll aim to keep you updated, so make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media. Alright, let's break down this trailer. What we know so far is that this short trek is following two children on the planet Mars, presumably which is due to the name of the short trek, Children of Mars. Originally, before we saw any footage of relating to this short trek, I thought the episode name was alluding to the fact that the Romulus star system contained the names of the Children of Mars in Roman mythology, which is of course Romulus and Remus. Those who know Star Trek lore quite well will know that the planets of Romulus and Remus are super important to Star Trek lore, as well as the upcoming Picard series. It appears the title is referencing to the actual Children of Mars, but you have to agree with me, it's odd considering the series revolves around the destruction of Romulus as well, definitely something to think about. Our first look is at the two school children who the short trek is based around. It's apparent from the start that both aren't exactly friends, with the trailer going as far as to describe them both as enemies. The children are called Kim and Lil, currently we don't know who is who, one appears to be human while the other is a species we cannot identify right away. I was gonna say she might be an Orion, but honestly I don't think so because she's not quite green enough. Maybe you can let us know in the comment section, I honestly can't think of a species. Straight away, I'm gonna theorise this story is about two enemies coming together in a crisis. The short trek description, posted by CBS, seems to allude to this as well. You can read it on screen now. It basically says, 12 year old classmates Kim and Lil find themselves at odds with each other on a day that will change their lives forever. Now as we start out the trailer, we also see the Federation shuttle with the words school shuttle displayed on it. Obviously this is meant to mimic your traditional school bus, now what is surprising is that CBS is using the Discovery Era shuttle model, opposed to what would be the correct shuttle models of this time period. While this wouldn't be a big deal to many, some not even noticing it, I find it kind of irks me. I do hope there is some lore explanation behind why Starfleet and the Federation are now using this shuttle design again, opposed to the correct models we've seen a few years before this. We see the two girls in the school library which are still using paper books apparently, unless there's some sort of hollow books inside the covers, I don't know. Now the two are basically picking on each other and retaliating against what each other does. It's typical children stuff you see in schools. I imagine most people in their life experience an element of this in school, so it's kind of relatable from a certain point. Moving on to a new scene, which takes place in a classroom, it appears from a teacher speaking that the class is about stellar cartography. Also, the teacher might be talking about the planet Romulus, or specifically the supernova that destroyed it. She can be heard saying, the star claps in on itself. Now her saying this could be referring to Romulus or just any old star, or the concept of a supernova in general. While the teacher is speaking, we see the children playing pranks on each other by sending drawings of the teacher, which obviously prompts one of them being told off. Again, it's that childlike nature of trying to get each other in trouble. Moving on, we see a clip of the two girls sitting down, now above each head is a sign. The alien girl has the word achieve above her, while the apparent human girl has the word grow. These could just be ads for the school they're in, or it could mean something about their characters. Jumping to the next scene, we can hear the standard Federation alarm blaring in the background, while the human child looks confused and concerned. Following this, things do get interesting. We cut to a scene of an apparent Vulcan teacher looking very concerned while the speakers and alarm broadcast saying, this is an emergency alert. Now if you look even closer to the screen behind the teacher, you can see a visual of the same attack ships which are seen in the Starship Picard trailers we've been watching recently. These are the ships which are seen attacking a planet of some sorts, including flying by a Federation space structure. Only recently via a new teaser for Starship Picard was it revealed that these ships were marked as Starfleet symbols on them. 
Now why would Starfleet be attacking its own colony, if they even are? Certainly interesting. I do have to expand on this starship point. Are the Starfleet ships the ones attacking, or are they defending? We also saw in the trailer for Starship Picard a fleet of what looks like Romulan warbirds bearing down on a planet that also looks like Mars. So what if these warbirds are actually attacking while Starfleet is defending? Either way it's interesting and hopefully this short trek will answer some questions ahead of the Picard series. The scene plays on and we see the alien girl now crying as she looks to the human girl. Obviously they're both scared as any child would be during an attack situation like this. The closing shot of them holding hands, they're showing they've put their childish differences aside and are ready to help each other as the danger nears. Overall this trailer is very interesting and certainly sets up the short trek. I honestly didn't expect it so soon but then again this short trek adventure is only 7 days away. Now after watching this trailer and specifically seeing those starships in the background, I'm absolutely convinced this in some way ties into the upcoming Starship Picard series. We already knew that anyway, but we never knew how far it would tie into the series. Considering we see the same ships in an apparent flashback, something that appears traumatic to Jean-Luc Picard. Now it appears to relate to these two children as well. This could be the event that drove Picard to leave Starfleet, and if I go by a long shot, I think it might tie into the IDW prequel comic book series, Starship Picard Countdown, which is currently two issues in. You can check out our review and breakdown on the channel if you wish to get up to date on that comic series. Most likely we'll see the attack on Mars during this short trek. It's been alluded to us now that this event really shakes things up in the Star Trek universe. But the question still remains, who does attack Mars? Is it Romulans, the Federation themselves, or someone else? That wraps up our breakdown of the trailer for the Short Trek episode Children of Mars. Don't forget it airs in one week on January 9th via CBS All Access. Also as a quick reminder, Starship Picard airs in 21 days on January 23rd. Not long to go to Will saying engage to a new series. If you want to keep up to date with all things Star Trek news, lore and more then make sure to subscribe to Trek Central here on YouTube. You can also check out our website for brand new weekly articles, follow us on social media for daily updates or join our community discord server. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.